Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, how you doing? What's up? My name is Vicky. And today I'm going to be showing you guys that I get a really quick and easy back to school makeup look. This look is for people who don't like to wear makeup or who don't like to wear a lot of makeup, who don't want to take a lot of time on their routine. They want like a 10 to 15 minute look to just get my face to look nice and clean and fresh for, you know, a Monday morning or something when I don't feel like wearing a full face of makeup. This video is in collaboration with my girl, Jaylin. Face Over Matter, if you guys have not checked out her channel, you should definitely do that. She is an amazing makeup artist and she also does really great inspirational posts as well. Um, she did her own version of a back to school makeup look that's a little bit more glam. You know, she added some lashes and things like that. So she's got the glam side, I've got the natural side, okay? So be sure to check out her video. I'll be sure to link it right here. I'll also be sure to link that in the description box as well and make sure to subscribe to her channel if you have not already. If you guys wanna see some more back to school videos, please let me know. Also, if you guys wanna know more information about this hair I do have a video coming for you guys talking all about this hairstyle and how you can get it I'll make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed already and that is all I hope that you guys enjoyed this video but I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into the makeup look cuz I don't feel like talking anymore okay bye so first I'm gonna start off with some lip balm and make sure my lips are moisturized now I'm gonna move on to a primer this is the Milani prime shield it's for oily skin I am gonna be using mostly affordable products in this video because I know that you guys are probably on that college budget okay so I'm trying to make sure that I use all affordable products but this is a really good primer I like it a lot it makes my skin really smooth and it blurs out any pores um, or texture on my face next I'm going in with a powder now this is a setting powder from Glossier it's the Wowder it's not the most cheap I have heard that Maybelline just came out with some setting powders so if you guys have tried those let me know how they are um, but I apply that all over the face just to kind of give myself an even canvas before I put on my foundation this is a foundation but I'm going to use it as a concealer I'm going to put it in the places where I need a little bit of coverage but I'm not going to put it all over the face this keeps me from having a caked on look and it also keeps me from doing too much and putting on too much product and feeling like I have to put on a full face because I just caked on makeup you understand what I'm saying I really like this foundation it's by black radiance this is the mousse foundation I always love a mousse like texture because one it's really good for oily skin and two I feel like it blurs into the skin very nicely and looks more like skin than liquid foundation does so this is my black radiance contour palette and I'm going to use those contour colors to bronze up the outer perimeter of my face just to give it a little bit of warmth um, and make my face look bronzy and give me that summertime glow even though we're going into the fall you still want to look like you you know got out and went got a tan and stuff you know what I'm saying like you came from the beach or whatever I'm applying that with a blush brush and then I'm gonna go in with concealer. I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer under my eyes, just a little tiny bit, not a whole lot. This is the ColourPop concealer, the no filter concealer in the color tan. And I am just blending that down my nose and under my eyes, just to give a little bit of light to the center of my face. This is totally optional. If you don't wanna do this, you don't have to. I just feel like it brightens up the face and makes you look wide awake and glowy, if that makes sense. Like it makes you look like you're glowing and you got a lot of sleep. So for those nights where you're, you know, cramming and stuff and you don't want to look like you just woke up, there you go. I'm not necessarily going to bake my under eyes per se. I'm going to just use the rest of the powder that's on my little powder puff to set that concealer. Next I'm going to use the ColourPop brow pencil and this is my favorite brow pencil of all time. It's the black and brown color and I'm just using that to fill in my brows. Um, you don't have to do your brows as perfect as mine are like I I can't not fill in my brows extra like I have to do a lot but if you just want to fill in the sparse areas where you may not have enough hair may look a little bald in some spots go ahead and fill in the areas that you need to fill in do your brows how you want them to be little sis get them get them right all right so now I'm going to use that same contour palette um, on my eyes just to give a little bit of color some people have discolored lids and if you have discolored lids or you just want to look like you have on a little bit of a a little bit of eyeshadow but you don't want to use eyeshadow I like to use this method because it's natural it matches the rest of my face and I don't feel like I'm caking on too much and I can just use one color all over the eye and it looks good so now I'm going in with the mascara this is the origins mascara but you can use whatever mascara you like 
and I'm just putting a coat on my upper and lower lashes. Mascara is the easiest way to wake up your eyes. It's the easiest way to look like you put yourself together that day. Mascara just helps. Even if you have short lashes, it, it helps, trust me. So now I'm using the Glow Up highlighter from ColourPop. ColourPop has a lot of good highlighters, so I don't know if they still have this one available, but be sure to check out their highlighters because they have a whole lot that I like. Um, I put that on the high points of my face, so my nose and on my cheekbones. Now I'm going in with the ColourPop K-Pop Collection liner in the color Chi, and I'm going to use this Hard Candy Liquid Matte Velvet Liquid Lipstick Concoction, um, and it's color Daffodil, and I'm just gonna put that on the center of my lips and blend it out. So that's pretty much it, y'all. Like I told you, it's super, super simple. It took me like 15 minutes to do this, and it's cute. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. But other than that, I'll talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Be sure to check out my previous upload and subscribe if you have not. And if you like vlogs, make sure to subscribe to my vlog channel. I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye!